Well, the heat is still going to be on on your Tuesday. In fact, if anything, it's going to be on the increase. These are the numbers that Futurecast is going with for 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Low to mid-90s common from Bay City and Saginaw down to Flint, Owasso, over to Lapeer. I don't buy the upper 90s that we see in our far northern counties. I don't think we'll get up to 98 in Gladwin, but the heat indices may. There's going to be a lot of humidity out there, even in the thumb. Uh, temperatures approaching the 90 degree mark with some very high dew points will create heat indices of 95 to 100 degrees for you. Heat advisory not issued for uh, Huron and Sanilac County, but it has been for everybody else. A heat advisory in effect from noon on Tuesday till midnight on Wednesday night slash Thursday morning. So that heat is going to be serious over the next couple of days. Stay hydrated if you're going to be outside working or exercising and preferably work or exercise very early in the morning or in the evening uh, during the cooler periods of the day. That low temperature overnight only dropping to 72 degrees on average. Uh, so we're not going to get a whole lot of relief from the heat at night. Hopefully your AC is working well. 93 for high tomorrow, but the heat index around 100 degrees, and there is still a slight chance of late afternoon thunderstorms, some of which could produce some locally heavy rainfall because these storms not going to move along all that quickly as we had on Monday in some of our southern counties where those storms just kind of set up and didn't move around much. Your seven day forecast, we're calling for another hot day on Wednesday. Of course, we have the heat advisory in effect for that day as well. At this point, it doesn't look like we're going to see any thunderstorm activity on Wednesday, but Thursday, the chance returns still hot 93 degrees after a low of 73, so staying very warm and humid at night. Thursday night, we dropped to 71, still no bargain there, especially when you consider that we get up to 90 again on Friday with a chance of thunderstorms, uh, a little bit better. A cold front coming through on Friday afternoon will trigger a little bit more widespread thunderstorm activity. Storms and showers could linger early on your Saturday morning, and we'll watch for the possibility of severe weather on a Friday late afternoon and Friday evening. Notice what happens to our temperatures. On Saturday, we only get up to 80 degrees behind that cold front and fall into the 50s on Saturday night. So a pretty nice looking weekend. Sunday's high only up to 79 degrees. Uh, so lots of sunshine and comfortable. Monday up to 82 with partly cloudy skies.